So welcome back. I wanted to compare, I mean, we're really going to talk about this uh, Edgar Cole Chimera is what we're really going to talk about today. But I wanted to compare it to the RJ Martin um, in one aspect, in the detent. So the RJ Martin, from what I have been told from a friend, it has a a man detent. I don't know. It has a really finger-breaking, strong detent on the RJ Martin. And the Edgar Cole Chimera has the complete opposite detent. Now, it works great, but it... And, and with every knife, the first time you pick it up, you may not know how to flip it. I mean, you're going to know how to flip it, right? And if you saw my unboxing of this, I have not done the full video yet. When I first picked it up, I misfired it a couple of times because it's such a strong detent. You can see I'm, I am able to get it, but I have to reposition my hand. So with any new knife that's new to you, yes, you're going to pick it up and you're going to try to flip it like you have flipped every other knife. Well, that may or may not work. For the RJ Martin, it doesn't work. You can see my finger. Like, I'm not, not trying to flip it. But you kind of have to keep your fingers off of the lock bar. And for this particular one, I have found, for me, is turning it sideways and kind of going with the meat of my finger rather than the tip is I kind of grab it by the side and then it fires every time. And now I'm at the point where I don't need to really mess with it. I can just pick it up and fire it. Okay. I think that's normal when you pick up a knife that's new to you. When I pick up the Chimera, it has a light detent. So if I just barely tap it, and some people are going to say, hey, that's no good. I did not try. I can't shake it open. Okay, but the detent is super light. So it's just a kind of a comparison there. That, that, that was my point. Okay, so let me put the RJ Martin away. I will do a video on that here soon. That's really a cool knife. This one is really cool also. And what I like about it is that it's a little different. It's very understated. Um just by the look of it, it doesn't look like an expensive custom handmade knife, but it is. The fit and finish on it is fantastic. It is a black ceramic coating over the titanium scales. Titanium backspacer, titanium hardware, I believe. 3D milled titanium pocket clip. And look at the lock bar cutout. It is not like everybody else. It's not traditional. So RJ Martin's cut out. He actually goes above and beyond also because he mills out and puts those grooves inside of the lock bar cutout. But it goes all the way to the edge of the scale. This is really just a like a cutout, like a, a, a spoonful out. Oftentimes what you're going to see is something more like this, where they've just relief cut it Nothing fancy, it's just the relief cut so that the lock bar can function. I kind of like that because it looks, it kind of disappears. Let me grab a light here so you can see it in there. It, it, I don't know. I think that's a very cool detail that I don't know most people would notice. It does have a steel lock bar insert that acts as an over travel stop. Like I said, a light detent. Hand rubbed satin finish, which is just beautiful. And I love the fact that there is no markings on the blade whatsoever. Nothing on the back, nothing inside. Like it's just done really well. And then if we take a look inside, they've milled out the pocket, milled out pockets on the inside for weight savings. And then they do more of the lock bar relief on the inside. Now you see lock bar reliefs on the inside a lot also. So that's not anything new. 
But having that little bit on the outside to me is just kind of cool. And that does help in the pocket as well, I'm sure. Now, going into my jeans pocket, you know, it's not great. But coming out, it's totally fine. For me, I would like it, the ramp to be a little bit more of a ramp going into the pocket. Much more like the ramp on the out, you know, coming out. I think this is more of a, uh, I, I don't know, you know what I mean. I think it's ramped more to exit the pocket than it is to install it, to put it back into the pocket. And that's how it functions for me, is easier coming out than going in. All right, so let's talk about the specs on this thing. Four and three eighths closed. Uh, seven and three quarters overall. And see, I misfired it there because I had too much pressure on the lock bar. So again, sometimes even after I've been handling a knife for days, I sometimes, you know, every knife is a little bit more temperamental. You have a 3.4 one inch blade with a 3.4 inch cutting edge. It is crazy thin behind the edge at 0 0.01. So be careful. This thing is sharp and it will, it might bite you. And it's not going to bite me because I'm going to be very careful because once it bites you, you're supposed to buy it. And while this is for sale, it's not something I want. The blade thickness is 0.146. Blade steel is CPM 20 CV. Weighs in at just 3.1 ounces. So that's a great weight for a 3.4, almost three and a half inch blade. That's a very lightweight knife, all things considered. 0 0.408 overall thickness minus the clip. And it runs on phosphor bronze washers which is a little different also. A lot of your flippers are gonna run on bearings, but it is a nice, smooth and controlled close. A little bit of shake, very Sabenza-ish, if you will. But it's just like glass, it's just so smooth. I can't even try to describe it. It's just perfect. So I really like this one. Um, it is for sale. I'm going to do a couple of quick size comparisons. Um, and I'll put the price down below. So if you are interested, just reach out to me and I will connect you with Joseph, who loaned this in, Spider Codelica. Since we had the RJ Martin out. Oops. This is the RJ Martin Q36SS, brand new from Blade Show with fat carbon and magna cut for the blade steel. Since we're talking about lightweight knives, how about the VC Edge interface? And, uh, well, because we're talking custom knives, how about the Hellraiser from Red Horse Knife Works? All right, guys, there you go. Let me know what you think about this very well crafted, handmade blade. I will put some links down below to their Instagram and to their website. So thanks for watching and have a great day.